Thanks for joining us tonight. The DOT is spending more than $1 million for safety upgrades on a deadly stretch of road. We're talking about Highway 30 near the Fair Oaks Avenue exit in Madison. Our Keely Arthur reports tonight about one of the heartbreaking reasons behind the change. Keely? Yeah, we're talking about the fatal crash of Kirk Uren and Jenny Steiner. The married couple was hit by a driver and later sentenced to prison because of the incident. Driving recklessly, he launched through the median and into Kirk and Jenny's car. Now the DOT offers offering drivers a barrier from a similar fate. They made a perfect pair. It was an incident that broke the hearts of everyone who heard it. Parents should never have to bury their children. And made just as many, if not more, care about two little boys named Caden and Grayson. <laughs> We first told you about Jenny Steiner and Kirk Uren in February of 2017. That's when the couple, on their way to a Badger basketball game, was hit by driver Brandon Baldwin. He was under the influence at the time and launched into their car from the opposite side of Highway 30 near the Fair Oaks exit. The two passed away, leaving behind the twin boys. We have to think about as motorists, what do we do to prevent those kinds of crashes? Since the accident, the Sheriff's Department has used federal grant money to put extra patrol resources on Highway 30. We continue to hear uh, reports of people at high rates of speed. Our traffic deputies are recording speeds, you know, 80, 90 miles an hour. But now the DOT is implementing maybe the biggest game changer, installing $1.1 million worth of barriers in the highway median to address crossover crashes like the one that took Kirk and Jenny. In essence, if they lose control or uh, because of their speeding, um, they lose control, they're going to hit the barrier and not cross into oncoming traffic. The URNs who were unable to talk on camera today say while nothing will bring their family back, they are happy to hear about this project, which they believe will prevent further heartache. And if you're driving on Highway 30 in Madison, there is that construction taking place right now. So expect some single lane closures. The project should wrap up in August. Keely, thank you.